How's it going, guys? Welcome back. Listen, <laughs> I am aware that I was supposed to have a video up day before yesterday. Reason being is because I was very unhappy with the way the video turned out and the game. Let's start with the game and how much I did not care for it, right? It's that one game that everyone's playing where you're like out in the forest and you're trying to find five bodies. Anyways, the monsters are all generated at random, so there's no really running away because once a monster appears, you're basically dead. Once I realized that there was actually no way to avoid it and winning was based out of luck, then I got really pissed. <laughs> Then I was just raging for the rest of the video. I was so upset. So I took a day and I was like, all right, we're gonna start fresh. And here we are. And I'm very excited about tonight's game. Reason being is because, you know, it just sounds like there's gonna be like some drama and like some like stalker vibes and like mystery lurking around every corner. You know what I mean? <laughs> so the game is actually called The Stalked. It says, escaped from Liam's obsession. See already with the drama. Kate seeks refuge in her grandpa's mansion. Strange occurrences raise questions about Liam's presence or another figure. Unraveling mysterious letters, Kate embarks on a journey seeking peace. Ooh, the drama, so excited. Ooh. I mean, is it gonna be scary? Is it gonna be garbage? Only time will tell. Okay, at this point I'm rambling. So let's just go ahead and get into the stocked it's Dosh, let's do it here, it's just going to be to me, yeah. Oh look, that's me! I kind of look like, um, Julia Stiles, that's her name, right? <laughs> the early 2000s actress. I had to break up with Liam, and I hope he takes it well. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, what voice I should do for her right off the bat. Alright, so we're dealing with Liam. I'm assuming that's going to be my crazy stalker. Oh. Oh, is this my place? Oh my god, I am loaded. Love that for me. Okay, let's close this. Because you can never be too careful. Yes. Yes, this is my place. I need to make some food. I'm hungry. I got some chips. All right, let's make you some food because I don't want to hear the stump, the sound of your stomach rumbling. We got a dirty ass pan. Place that there. That. Yeah, I I could live here. <laughs> Where's my pool? I have to have a pool. Okay, wait. Focus, Nicholas. Focus. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? We have ketchup. We have a canned... Canned organic food. That's interesting. We are too bougie to be eating canned organic food. We should be ordering, like, pad thai or something. <laughs> canned organic potatoes and meat. Who did not on my door at this hour? I didn't even hear a knock. Oh, now I did. Who is it? At least she runs fast. Who is it? Who's there? Hey, honey, can I come in? Uh, Liam, I told you it's over. No, you can't come in. I told you you can't just leave me like that. I love you more than anything. It's over, Liam. Just go home. <laughs> Open the door, Kate. No, I'm not opening the door. I don't love you anymore, Liam. You'll be mine again soon. Pfft. So you think, toots? Sounds like he walked away. Thank God. How do I not have a pool? Food should be ready now. My bedroom. This is kind of, there's a there's too many windows. No, no, no. No thanks. Do I need a plate? No, we're just gonna eat it from the pan. Why do they do this? Why do they do this? De developers know that. That's like such a pet peeve. I hate hearing crunches in my ear. About to calm myself down would be great right now. Yeah, I am pretty worked up. We should, we should light a fire. 
Oh, I do have a pool. Look at that. Wait, is that a pool? Oh, I can go outside. Cool. Ooh, look at the sky. My neighbors. Oh, I think that's my neighbors. Or is that still me? Okay, let's close you. And let's find out where the restroom is. There we go. Nice. Damn, look at this shower. State of the art. What do I do for a living? Uh, what was that? What was that? I left the fridge open. Oh, shit. I was just out here. <gasps> Give me another chance, please. I'll treat you well and do anything you want. I promise. Just one chance is all I ask. That can't be too much, can it? Kiss, hug, kiss, hug, Liam. No, 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 I gotta leave before he does anything worse. Yeah, let's leave. <coughs> Hi, Katie. Oh, fuck! Wait, whoa, 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 shit! <laughs> <laughs> I got caught. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <sighs> Bitch. <coughs> oh, he's rises up. Yeah, got it. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <sighs> How did I end up in the bathroom? <sighs> All right, let's move. Let's drive. Floor it. Oh. Oh, my phone. Three, three, three. I tell you, all I see are three, three, threes. Grandpa. Please answer, Grandpa. Papa. Hello, Grandpa. I need your help. Hey, Kate. What's going on? Liam broke into my apartment and chased me. I barely got away, and now I'm in my car with nowhere to go. That's horrible. Are you okay? Did he hurt you or something? No, I got away before he could do something, but I'm terrified he will find me. Okay, I assume you're looking for a place to stay for a while. Yes! You can come live with me for as long as you need. However, I'm gonna be out on business on a business trip for one week. That's fine! I still gotta be safer than staying here. Can I go there now? Yes, I'll send you the address. The key to my house is in a flower pot. Also, remember to keep the doors locked, and if you need to go outside, you can always check the peephole first. Ooh, good tip, Gramps. Okay, thanks again, Grandpa. You're a lifesaver. No problem. I hope all goes well and don't hesitate to call me again. He is very positive. Alright. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Oh shit! Tony Hawk! Tony! Oh my god, is he in the car? Oh, he opened my car door. Tony! Tony! It's not even Liam, it's Tony. This whole time. <laughs> Julia Stiles is dating Tony Hawk, and Tony Hawk is a creep. I mean, <laughs> that was a close call. Liam won't be able to find me. I mean, Tony won't be able to find me anymore now. I've finally broken free from that toxic relationship. <laughs> Who knew the cameo of the year <laughs> so far? This isn't ominous. And of course, Grandpa would live all the way out in the boonies with no neighbors, no cell phone reception, I'm sure. <gasps> oh no, did Tony manage to follow me here? No. I'm getting too paranoid now. Of course it's not him. Probably just a neighbor. Okay, I guess we do have neighbors. All right, Kate, don't forget, lock the doors. All right, toots. Lock, Pl press F to turn on your flashlight. Oh, look at me, I'm a modern woman. With my phone flashlight. A oh, flower pot. Oh, okay, that's easy. 
Oh, actually, wait. I have a locking. Wow, it's dark in here. Let's turn on some lights and find the bedroom. I want to hit the bed ASAP. Kate, chill. We got to make sure the doors are locked. So. Okay, so we do have to do that. That's interesting. How about some lights? Do you want some lights? Oof. But at least there's not a ton of windows in here. Kitchen. What is this? Like a, a storage room? Bathroom. Oh, there's two doors. So we have a side door and a front door, which are both locked. Okay, let's go upstairs. You heard that, right? That wasn't just me. Light. Let there be light. Oh. Okay, Grandpa's office. The <laughs> broken love seat. Why do I hear like footsteps? Okay, the bedroom. There we go. Close. No locking mechanism for this. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, guess. Let's hit the hay. We need our rest for Tony. Three fifty-five. Wow, I slept that long. Yeah. What time did we go to bed? So it's like late afternoon already. Shit. Is Grandpa home already? Oh no. Let's just go find out. Hmm. Should we trick them and sneak around the side and like n not go through the front? Oh, there's no one even there. Unlock, open. Oh. Dearest new resident of this mansion, I'm the previous owner of this mansion and you are the person I have been looking for. I hope to see you stick around for a while. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. I'll be watching you. Watching me? This is strange to say the least. I need to get going to the store before it gets dark though. Let's be careful. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Lucky, lucky. Ooh, it's nice out though. Right? Pretty day. <laughs> Oh, we didn't check the trunk. We're going to check the back seat and the trunk. Make sure no one's riding with us. What? Okay. Oh, it's already getting the evening. The convenience store. Circle S. Not Circle K. Circle S. Look at this. This is such a sketchy van. I wonder what kind of car Tony drives. Hmm. What's that? Some kind of paper? Oh. Poster has been added to your collection. Wow, it's creepy how similar she looks to me. Ashley missing since 8-15-2013. Please help us bring Ashley home. If you have any information, even the smallest detail, contact the police. Your assistant could make all the difference. This is horrible. I hope they found her. Okay. Am I being followed? If there's any bitches out there following me, now's your chance. What about you? You know! Didn't expect you to turn around. <laughs> oh, hi there. Haven't seen you here before. Are you new? Yes, I just moved in. Where do you live? You know, I don't feel comfortable telling you that. Are you alone um i'm in a hurry sorry i gotta go but um if you're gonna 
pull out some money. <laughs> Can you pull out some extra for me, please? Please. I'm poor. Okay, what do I need? Canned food, snacks, soda, milk, cereal, wine. From top to bottom, it says. Okay, so canned food. God, this bitch loves canned food. Uh, canned food. Where the hell? Sir, where's your canned food? Whoa. Braid beard. I like it. Braid beard. Oh, canned food. Snacks. Soda. Oh, who's there? Milk. I didn't see a fridge, like a refrigerating refrigerator section. Oh, okay, boxed milk. Cereal. Cereal, cereal. There we go. Cereal. Cereals, cacao. And wine. Yes, I definitely definitely need the wine. Who's that? What if I steal this? No. Should I try? I'm gonna try to steal this, see what happens. I'm going! Ooh, I'm stealing your groceries! Oh, what are you gonna do about it? Nothing! Really? You're not gonna do shit? Okay, I'll be a good Samaritan. Fine. I thought you were gonna chase me or something. Beard braid? Hey, hello, is that all? Yes! <laughs> all right, total is 22.50. Thank you for shopping here. Also, I can tell you're new to the area. How long are you staying for? No problem. I'm not sure yet, not too long, I would assume. All right, have a good day, and here are your groceries. Thanks, thanks, you too, beard braid. The best. I'm making all my friends here. That guy never left. The ATM guy. Wait, wait. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! That was an uncalled for... You know, a young, beautiful lady like you shouldn't be out all alone like this. What do you want?! I do have some wishes, <laughs> but I think it's best they remain unspoken. Be careful and don't let me catch you all alone again. Bitch, do I look like a fucking genie? What do you mean wishes? I don't need your warnings. Respect my space and stay away. That was very aggressive. These, this, All these men in this game are very aggressive. I've gotten charged at twice so far. Damn, that really fucking got me. Let's not forget the groceries in the car. Okay. That's it. Flashlight. Ooh, there's an attic. Right, at least the lights are still on. Lucky, lucky. Put the groceries in the fridge. Boom. Ta-da. Wait, what? Oh shit, welcome home. Are all the You look beautiful day today. Wait, you look beautiful in the store today. Who? It was the guy that charged can't wait to see you again. Uh, okay. Getting closer. What do you mean getting closer? Oh! Is he inside or outside? I'm soon there. Where did that come from? He's inside. I don't need any more bitches charging at me tonight. <gasps> or what if I'm already there? Oh. Okay, let's. Oh. Okay, I'm looking out of the window. Wait, turn your flashlight off. I'm here. What? 
I'm here. Check the door. Okay. No one. Check the door. I did. I'm not opening that. Kate. 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 You're better than this. Ooh. Dearest new resident, congratulations on settling in. You made to believe this mansion is your refuge, but every step you take reveals a deeper game. I'm with you in every choice, every move. There's no escape from becoming mine. This is getting out of hand. I need to drive away and call the police before it's too late. Kate, that a girl. Lock that shit and let's get let's get out of here. Forgot to check the back seat again. <laughs> No, not now. Start. Start! Please start! Come on! Why are oh, not about time? <laughs> Something's really wrong. I have to get inside and call the cops, like, right now! Okay. Run, run, run. Ooh, run. Close. Lock. F. F. Oh. Great. Oh wait, that door was closed before. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I need help. I've been receiving threatening messages, letters, texts. I'm really scared. I'm here to help you. Can you please provide your location? I'm at. It's urgent. I end. I understand I'm dispatching officers to your location right now. Can you describe the nature of the threats? They've been watching me, following me. This The messages are getting more intense. Please hurry. Stay on the line with me. Help is on the way. In the meantime, try to find a safe and secure location within your home. I think this. I think he's in my home. And make sure to lock your doors. The officers should be there soon. Yes, they're locked. Please hurry. Help is on the way. Stay strong. I'm here with you until the officers arrive. Someone just tried to open the door. Wait, which door? I did hear that. Officers will be there any second now. I think I'm going to stay here because if he comes that way, I can go down or I can go up. Oh. Okay, that was quick. Does that mean... Ooh, my hands are getting sweaty. It appears that everything is under control now. Our officers apprehended a man in a white van. I knew it. I saw that white van at the gas station outside of your residence. We're bringing him in for questioning. If something else happens, don't hesitate to call us. Take care. There's also that white van that was following us in as well at the very beginning. Thank you for your help. I'll be sure to reach out if something else happens. Okay, what about... What do we do? Phew, what a relief. I never thought I'd feel safe again, but maybe things can get back to normal now. I should be safe now. Let's head to the <laughs> Let's head to the basement outside and restore power. Kate. Kate. Find the electrical panel. Kate, why are you doing this? Why are you making me do this? Why? Okay. Uh, it's already open! That means someone was in there! Really? We're going... Okay. I mean, listen. It's your funeral. I'm just here living it. <laughs> Wait. Electrical panel. Got a furnace. Excuse me. Oh, flashlight. <clears throat> the power should be back on now. Okay. It doesn't look on, but it sounds on. 
Go back inside. I can do that. I can do that. Should we close these? Can we close these? No, we cannot. Alright, let's just get the hell in there. Lock. Oh, yes. Let there be light. Okay. I stink of sweat. Let's take a bath before I go to sleep. Okay. That is not a bad idea. Ooh, we should get our wine. Let's get our wine and have like a whole moment. <clears throat> That makes me have to pee. <laughs> oh, okay then. Finally, a moment of peace. What happened to my shower curtain? But why would that stranger go so far for me? Whatever, it's over now. Okay. Bath went, okay. Hmm? What? I'm so exhausted that I'm hearing things now. Let's just go to bed. What did what did we hear? Okay, well maybe there's two people after me because they did apprehend someone sitting outside. Like when I have corners that I can't see around. You heard that, right? Someone definitely was trying to get in. Oh, God. Okay. What time is it? I don't even care. Okay. Let's go to bed so it's daytime again. I like when it's daytime. We can go chat with like the locals. What is that noise? Um, sounds like it's coming from the storage room. Are we sure? We're sure it's not setting me up? Why? Why? Is it like hammering? What? Like, why would someone be tapping? Okay, we need some light. And the door is closed again. It was open, remember? And now it's closed. I never fucking closed that shit. Uh. Dude, these fucking jump these jump scares. I should probably check <laughs> fucking probably check to see how Tony's doing. I mean, the reason all this is happening to begin with is because I broke up with him, and it's all my fault. If I had just stayed with Tony, he would have kept me safe. Call Tony. Should we call Tony? See what he's up to. Let's call Tony. Oh my God. Tony? Maybe it's for the best he didn't answer. Let's put my mind on something else, but first, let's make sure the house is empty. I don't feel safe. Oh. I like when it's daytime. Shit. Not mold? This is an old house. <sighs> it closed. Okay. Damn. 
Something looks off about that book. Check out the book. Oh, shit. <gasps> Ew. Going in. A sudden disappearance. Ashley's whereabouts unknown. 27-year-old Ashley was reported missing on August 15, 2013 by her husband, two days after she disappeared from their home. Last seen in their residence, As Ashley's sudden absence has raised suspicions with her husband emerging as a prime suspect prime person of interest in the ongoing investigation. While authorities continue to search for leads, they urge anyone with information to come forward and assist in the search for Ashley. Oh, she was last seen here. And this was what, August 15th, 2013? Look, honey, we made the news pretty cool, right? This is August 17th, so August 13th... Wait, no. Oh, no, August 17th. August 17th, so that's the same day. Oh. I can't replace you, Ashley. There is no one that is special as you. Okay, that's the that's August 18th. This is August 18th. Why did you force me to do this? I never wanted to harm you. August 19th. My fault? How is it my fault? How is it my fault? I didn't want it to end like this. You left me with no other options. Oh, now it's August 22nd. What the fuck did I do? How am I going to live on without you? 22nd? What is the point of all of this? I'm typing to a dead person. I would do anything to get you back. Did I, I'm assuming did this person kill her? Oh. Oh, okay. So that jumps from August 22nd, 2013 to 2023. So this is present time, I'm assuming. Am I dreaming? I swear that is you. She looks just like you. Have you come back to me 10 years later? Oh, that's me. That's Kate. She's just as beautiful as you were. She has to become mine. She will, no matter what. I can't let her run away from me like you once did. And this is back to 2013. Why would you want to leave me? I've done nothing but be good to you. Whatever, it doesn't matter anymore. You are never leaving me again now. This is after he killed her. His ex-girlfriend who was trying to leave him. It's... What? It's probably about time I talk to Grandpa about what's going on here. This is crazy. That is that I want that has to be Ashley's head. And the ring I gave Ashley, or he gave Ashley. Yikes. Grandpa ain't there? Yeah, so something happened. A lot has been happening. I've received creepy letters and I've been bothered by someone. I don't think it's Tony. I called the police and they arrested a suspicious individual lurking around the house. But when I thought it was all over, I found a strange hidden room in your house that contains some psychotic things to say the least. What? That is insane. Maybe call the police. Maybe the police arrested the guy leaving the letters in and a hidden room. I've lived there for 10 years and never seen that. I'll be cutting this business trip short and coming home ASAP. I can't stand not being able to help you. I'd like to think they arrested him, but what if they didn't? What if he's still out there? What if they arrested someone who got set up? It makes me so uneasy just thinking about it. What do you remember about the person who you bought this place from? That could definitely be the case. I remember that his wife had recently gone missing without a trace. It was the talk of the town for quite a while. And his name was... Oh. Are you serious? My phone ran out of battery. I didn't have time to bring my charger with me. Ugh. Let's go find a flashlight in case I need one later. I think I remember seeing one in the basement. <laughs> it's locked. Are we just... <laughs> Kate. Kate. This is why bad things happen. It's because of decisions like this. But we're going when it's daytime, right? So that's good. That's actually for the best. Let's go ahead and... Damn, dude, it's never... We're always in, like, the evening. Mm -hmm. And the electricity's on, so that's good, right? I got flashlight. So I have no phone. 
Grandpa doesn't have a landline for some reason. We need a weapon. That's what we need. A weapon is always a good idea. We need to figure out how to close these doors, too. <laughs> Holy fuck, crow! Let's go this way. No sign of Tony. Yay. This is a very interesting game. I should search for a weapon just in case. Let's start by looking through Grandpa's office upstairs. It's not like it's pretty intense just because the jump scares are really fucking effective. And they're not, they're pretty far in between, which I appreciate, but they. They pack a punch, let me just say, they pack a punch. Okay, this is Grandpa's office. Weapon. Oh, maybe in his desk? A letter that I cannot read? <laughs> uh, some snacks? Nothing. Please be a gun. Please be... Nope. Okay. There's nothing of use in here. Okay, where else should I look, toots? I should go back. That has to be Grandpa, right? I don't, didn't you just talk to him like five minutes ago? That bitch is probably still packing. Is it Tony? There's no other car. People, people, people. Again, there's no one. <laughs> ay, ay, ay! Hi, sorry if I scared you. I just had to come clean about something. Holy shit. Of course you did. You're the creep that talked to me earlier outside the convenience store. What do you want to come clean about? I know it was creepy, but it wasn't my idea. Tony told me to do it in hopes that you would take him back and feel safe again. I was supposed to take it a step further now, but I couldn't do it. I felt too sorry for you. It all makes sense. It all makes a lot more sense now. Thank you for telling me. I still don't feel safe around you. Can you now? Uh, can you leave now, please? Yes, of course. I'm sorry again. Yikes. Where did he park? Uh, also, how did it just turn night? Did I black out? Am I blacking out? <laughs> Maybe this is all in my head. And is he the guy that was leaving the letters? Really, it's night already? That's what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. Go to bed. I don't want to. I don't want to have another fucking nightmare. Close. One of these nights I'm gonna fucking close the door and someone's gonna be there. Again? Did it, did, it, did, it, did it come from the bedroom door? What? Um. You thought this was over? You feel helpless now, don't you? Your car doesn't work, your phone is dead, the police think they got their person behind this, and you don't know where I am. There's nothing that can stop me anymore. Well, you're clearly in the house. What What? what do I do? I know if I follow the other path I saw when I first got here, maybe I can find some neighbors that can help me. Follow the other, other path, I have to go outside. Is this it? Is it happening? Is this, is this the showdown? Is this where I escape? Oh, it's quiet. Come on, let's go. Oh. Go 
go, 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 go. Watching you. What? Where's the other path? Follow other path. Wait, where's the other path? Oh. It doesn't seem like he's following me, so that's good. This is definitely Tony's car. Okay, well, even better reason. What? What? Where am I supposed to go? Oh. Oh. Yikes. Where the fuck are we going? What? I definitely heard a cough. Blood? Blood? Where do you see blood? Oh, uh, who is that? Is that Tony? That, that's Tony! What happened to you? Why would someone do this to you? She's mine. Oh shit, that's me. And only mine. Oh, Tony. Press shift to, s oh, that's not a good sign. Tony. Oh. Oh, this is the the room. What the fuck? No, well, there's Ashley. We know where her head's at. I think these are Ashley's remains. What a sick and twisted what a sick and twisted individual her husband is. I don't even want to know what he would do to me. Kate, you're the one that wants to stick around and find out for some reason. <laughs> oh my god! Beard braid! Hey, I couldn't wait anymore. I need you now, my new Ashley. Beard braid! So it was you who have been sending me these letters. I know I look similar to your ex-wife, but it doesn't mean I can replace her. I don't care, cashier. How you look is more than enough. Come here. I've been wanting, waiting so long for this. <laughs> no, no, I have to run before it's too late. Okay, let's do it. Bad braid, get away. I'm too good for you. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, police! Police! Whew. The police arrived on the scene just in time, thanks to Grandpa. He hurried back home after the abrupt ending to Kate's phone call with him. When he arrived home, he realized that Kate was nowhere to be seen. He got a sinking gut feeling that the worst might have happened. He called the police instantly, and they made it just in time. The relief Grandpa felt after the news was nothing was like nothing else. What happened to everyone else involved? The man in the white van said his, that his reasoning for being outside Kate's home was because he saw a stranger following her home from the store. Of course, the police didn't believe him when they saw no one else was there. But when the news broke free about this, the police realized their mistake and that he had actually been telling the truth. He was released the same day. Tony's accomplice was never seen again after the incident. 
the psychopath who killed his ex-wife Ashley, Tony, and almost Kate, ended up getting sentenced to life in prison. Kate is doing her best to recover from the incident, but it's difficult. At night, she often hears those daunting knocks on her bedroom door, disrupting her attempts to sleep. Throughout every day, she finds herself checking behind and scanning every corner, consumed by fear and paranoia. Thanks for playing the Stark to horror game by solo developer Cor Cor Corvin Ruler. Corvin Ruler. Cool. That was fun. That fulfilled what I wanted it to fulfill. It had drama, suspense, mystery. It was a it was a who done it. <laughs> That was, that was pretty good. That exceeded my expectations. I'm, I'm happy with that one. <laughs> and it didn't get me frustrated or rage out like the last game I played. Which now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of want to replay to see if I can. Maybe I'll give it one more shot. I'll give it another shot. See what happens. Whatever. But anyways, if you made it this far, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah! Love you guys.